So, now, while I am well aware that, you know, we, the Republicans have seen the, uh, you know, for any of the conservatives watching who are unaware as to why, who still don't get why the red wave was a red ripple, um, it is a three, it is a three-pronged issue of, um, uh, miscorrected uh, uh, priorities by the Republican Party, um, a, the, uh, general, uh, generally unpopular, uh, uh, right-wing nationalism that isn't as popular as they would like it to be, and uh, uh, abortion. Roe v. Wade being overturned not only terrified lots of people at their rights being taken away, but also if Roe can be taken away, anything can be taken away. And, you know, people had to much more closely uh, analyze why that, you know, why, you know, what Republicans say they will do, and they're taking that more so at face value now. And I wanted to take a second to show you guys an example of, to the conservatives who don't understand why people are concerned about abortion, um, and why, and this is an example as to why we've always said it is a bodily autonomy issue, not a, you know, uh, hu not a, you know, you know, not a, uh, you know, uh, a murder baby issue thing, thing. It's always been about bodily autonomy and controlling women, as this video that I will show you right now goes into in great detail. I am Jessica Valenti, and I write about abortion every day. A woman in Alabama recently was arrested for chemical endangerment of a child. Essentially, this county sheriff said that she was using drugs while pregnant. This is Etowah County, Alabama. They have come under fire for doing this to a lot of women. They were detaining like almost a dozen women recently. Sorry, this is my TENS unit. I have back issues. Um, they came under fire for doing this already. And so they arrested this woman for what they said was using drugs while pregnant. But here's the thing, she wasn't pregnant. She wasn't pregnant. She told them she wasn't pregnant. She offered to take a pregnancy test. They refused, they arrested her, they detained her um, in the detention center. And when they finally had to release her, when they realized that she wasn't pregnant, the sheriff's investigator told her, you better not get pregnant, otherwise you're gonna face additional charges, which is completely obscene and unconstitutional. You can't tell someone not to get pregnant. Um, but it's a really important case because we've already seen the ways that law enforcement officials are using abortion bans to target pregnant women and charge them with crimes that have nothing to do with abortion, right? Like this chemical endangerment of a child. But now we're seeing how law enforcement officials can use abortion bans to target and criminalize and arrest anyone with the capacity for pregnancy, right? This woman wasn't pregnant, she just had the capacity for pregnancy. And this is something that reproductive rights and justice activists have been warning about for a long time, that these laws aren't just going to target women who are seeking abortions, anyone who's seeking abortions, that the laws are not just going to target uh, pregnant people, they are going to target anyone with the capacity for pregnancy. This is really dangerous, it's really fucked up. And Republicans are counting on the idea that we are gonna to be too inundated with these horror stories to keep track of everything and to fight back. So make sure you're keeping yourself informed. This and that's when she goes into her plug. Feel free to go support her if you find that important. But essentially, yes, this is kind of, there are going to be a lot of places in this country where women are going to be prevented from doing certain things, saying certain things, eating certain things, and, and just living their lives because those things could ha and, and the in and, and law enforcement can stop them under the potential risk to, you know, a fetus. Because they don't, like, they could just assume you're pregnant. You don't, shit. There's an entire show called I Didn't Know I Was Pregnant. People can be 15 weeks pregnant and not know. It's, so they can just, so they can, you know, if you're a woman and 
you're just you're out with your friends. It's Friday night and you're at a bar. You're drinking a little bit. You get the, you get some kind of the wrong uppity sheriff in the wrong part of the country. They can arrest you for child endangerment. And 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 yeah, like once you take a pregnancy test and say, "Hey, no, nah, I'm not pregnant." Like what? But they still were able to just yoink you off the street on just a maybe. Which is where this kind of juxtaposes into both the women's right and the bodily autonomy issues, as well as the obscene amount of power that cops have in this country. But again, this is not a, 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 a discussion piece. This is just me reporting on the news. So that is that, unfortunately. Why would you want to go to fucking Alabama anyways? 